Alright folks, Pitching Ace 88, we're back playing Sudeki, game brought to you by GameAnyone.com. And there's a couple places that I want to check out while on the Crystal Reef. One of them being, I believe, yep, right over here. Which means I'm going to need Buki. Climb up, baby. Okay, pick up this chest. Again, with the analog moving. Ooh, a weapon. I thought it was going to be like an orb. Check out this weapon. Pathosis Enomir. It's basically like this one right here. Vashenga, strength, critical, slow. It's critical. It's the exact same thing. I mean, it looks different, but it's going to be the same power-ups. Can you get into any of these houses? I don't believe so. However, this is something that I don't believe I did in my first playthrough, because I totally did not know about this. That is getting through this bridge. And yes, right here. Other side. Chilt Chilt Tip Cane by a for Ailish. Wonder what this is for. Whoa. Strength critical Again it's all slow, but eventually you're gonna get to all these weapons that the enemies uh, don't have any weakness towards. Ooh, aluminum opal. That's nice. 50 florins. Nope, not through there. Wow, that aluminum opal is pretty nice. Too bad I have pretty much everything upgraded on everyone that I want. I have all their weapons and the only one I think is going to be Tal for an upgrade. And I believe. Car full of rotten fish. Oh, found healing potion. Ooh, that's what I also need. I need Camo. Camo's not here. Um, let's talk to this guy, I think, before we go up there. I'm sorry. But I can't allow strangers into the church just now. If you have business here, you will have to go and see Lord Muesli. The manor is on top of the hill. Okay. I thought so. So you have to get you have to talk to him first before uh, you talk to the Lord Muesli, because if you don't, then uh, nothing will really happen. Soul Nectar revives all PCs, 1000 HP. Nice. Okay, let's talk to Muesli. At last, the rescue party has arrived. Nasaria the Siren has been terrorizing this sleepy village for so long now, we thought Cyantine were never going to help. Hmm? Is that what's the problem? I hope so. She was such a sweetheart when I met her. <laughs> well, we need all the help we can get. Our village has been ruined, our children killed, and the light has faded from the sky. If only someone could take the Eclorian crystal away from Nasaria, she would lose her powers and we could be free once more. Oh, the Eclorian crystal. I think I might be able to help. I don't know where the grotto is, but Kerfin Hall saw his friend get dragged inside. He could tell you where the entrance to the grotto is, if he isn't still too scared to talk. Speak to the Reverend Kassa. All the children have taken shelter in the church since Kerfin saw his playmates taken by the siren. Okay. So we got a quest updated. And it's about time to head back down to the church. What's over here? No, nothing over here. Worth a shot.
Anyways, let's take these two out. Aquatic Claw Shell. Nothing. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Away with you! This church should be a place of sanctuary. You will not take a single child away to their death while I still have breath in my body. So I'm not trying to take away the kids, but we need one of them to help us to get to Nasaria. How can I trust you? Prove to me you are fighting for the side of good by returning the holy symbol of Tetsu to my church. It was lost at sea in a terrible storm. Okay. So that means we need to talk to a fisherman. Let's see, fisherman here? No, but we need to get in there. So that means fishermen must be on the pier. Ward of the docks, as they like to call them. Yes, this guy. Hello, I'm Finbar. I'm the only fisherman left around here nowadays. Huh, have you found any holy symbols at sea? Well, I do find a lot of interesting stuff. I put most of my findings into the boathouse by the pier. Take this key and see if you can spot what you're looking for. No problem. I will do my best. Oh, we can break. Ah. Uh, we just destroyed a barrel without getting anything from it. Again, nothing. It's alright. I already have plenty of healing stuff right now. Should be set for life. Probably should have been Tal. Yep, I had a feeling. There's always a puzzle within a puzzle. These games. Okay. Since he's the only one who really can move this stuff. Let's see. Nope. Hold and then move. Okay. This puzzle can be solved multiple ways. This is the easiest way that I found to get it done. Chest is right back here. And this should hold the Tetsu Holy Symbol. Sweet. Quest is updated. Man, we are rolling right along. The rest of this game is going to be fairly linear. I don't think there's many side quests after this. So we handed it over the holy symbol of Tetsu. Yep, 200 EXP, baby. Gotta love it. Please, Tetsu on high. By returning the symbol to me, you have restored my faith. See how Tetsu has blessed us? You have proved yourself worthy. Come inside my church and we can talk. Okay. Calm down, Tal. You don't need to keep jumping up and down. Okay, now if we go into his church, I believe he heals us. Thanks for all you've done for us. Yep. Oh, I think he might also do SP. You're going to kill the monsters for us? You're a hero! The entrance is at the bottom of the cliff. Talk to Lord Muesli and ask him to switch on the elevator. That will take you all the way down. Okay. So you guys are basically just making me run back and forth. But that's alright. I don't mind that. As of right now. I would mind it if you if it happened a lot in this game, but it really doesn't. I don't really mind. Uh, I think I have to go inside. Yep. So Kerfin thinks the entrance is at the bottom of the cliff, does he? I'll switch on the elevator for you then. Good luck. Luck? Where well, we're going, we don't need luck. 
use. Yeah, this game has like some some glitches in terms of cutscenes and other stuff, but it's also because it's an old game. You would expect they really need to make a Sudeki too. I don't know what they'd do for it, but look at our blades, man. We're ridiculously strong. All right, let's do this. Whoa! I want that move. Can we do that one? Personally, I kind of like that. That was pretty cool. Okay. Let's see what's here. Let's go right. Oh, I remember this place. The hottie on the wall. This place is amazing. Look at it. These drawings are strange. They're of some sort of mermaid. <sighs> this one looks pretty good to me. <laughs> really, Tal? Oh my, she's a beauty, all right. Very bountiful, so to speak. It's said that a man's feeble heart would melt the moment she began to sing. I could see why. She's obviously a healthy specimen. And, of course, uh, half-naked. <laughs> of course. I can't see what's so fascinating about a half-naked fishwoman singing sea shanties to any man that comes along. I'm sure it's not so interesting when all you can smell is wet fish in your lap. Don't spoil the image. <laughs> Men are like fish. Easy to catch, briefly satisfying. And then just a bag of bones that stinks up the tent. Ooh, well you know what? Oh, stop it, you. We're offended now, aren't we, Tal? <laughs> Women are a little bit like fish, too. I won't go into the de details. That would be wrong. Carcass of a long dead sea creature. Whatever did this must be a formidable foe. Yeah. Let's, let's get to this formidable foe. Okay, this looks like a dead end over here. Which means it's going to have goodies for us. Aquatic shell. Star file. Of course we can't carry them. We're not going to be able to carry a lot of stuff out of this place, I'm, I'm imagining. Before you do this, you probably should have went to Camo to get rid of all your stuff. Oh yes, I remember this. This place is something special, isn't it? It has a certain atmosphere. Can you hear that? It's beautiful. Uh, it gets inside your head, doesn't it? Are you two still discussing the finer points of aquatic ladies? I can hear it. So clear. I hear you. Sing. Sing to me. What? What? Most beloved siren. I am coming. She knows me. Ah. Good job, guys. 